Hi everyone, <coughs> I'm Guillaume Delberg and I will talk to you about open source general prototyping for faster hardware and software co-design. So first, does uh, anyone in this room already heard about virtual prototyping? Okay, okay, so let's start. So, sorry, I only have just 10 minutes, so let's start. So, a virtual prototype is a software application simulation. This is a behavior, it provides a ready to execute environment for your next platform. Virtual prototype aims to solve various use cases. Okay, it's okay for everyone? Okay, let's continue. <laughs> okay, so it enables software development and other software testing to begin before the real hardware is available and it can also be used for later use when the hardware is available. It is an alternative to prototyping on real boards. It expands the software developer's productivity, allowing them to develop on it as their development platform months before the real hardware prototype. Okay, let's slow down. Okay, so how do you design your product now? So you have an idea and you ask to your software developers and your hardware developers to build the parts, the application and the physical prototypes. During the developments, you don't really have communication between both teams, between the hardware team and your software team. And then you have the integration. So the hardware team gives a physical prototype to the software team and software team can begin to run the application on it. Most of the time, it doesn't work. So you have to go back and to try again. And finally, you have your product, but you spend time, you lose your time, and you, spend, you lose money. So here is a new way to design your product. You still have ID, of course, but instead of building a physical prototype and waiting for it, you design a virtual product. So using a virtual prototype. So people from software can directly run their software without having to wait for the physical board in the hand. It enables you so continuous integration. Okay, great. So, just to slow down, so virtual prototyping is a technology to, which is a software application simulating the hardware behavior. It provides a ready to execute environments for your next platforms. It allows you fast virtual prototype for hardware and software co-simulation. Okay, so. How does it look like? Let's take an example. So here it's, it's just a simple Raspberry Pi. So a Raspberry Pi is composed of a system on chip, the BCM2835 or 36 or 37, depending of the, of the revision of the Raspberry Pi. Inside this system on chip, you have your CPU, you have your RAM, your UART, GPIO, or control. They are all called IP inside your SOC, also called uh, as uh, peripherals, and we will model all this IP. The model will represent the behavior of your, of your IP, which it, it will be like a software application, and we will model the entire system on chip. The result is a binary, a software application, where we ca you can run your original bare metal binary operating system, like on your physical board. Okay, so what does a model look like? So, how, and how do you build a model? So, we just take a data sheet, we extract the architecture behavior, so it, it's from the programmer view. And we describe, for example, here is the, for the PL011, we extract and we describe all registers and fields and the behavior. For example, when you write on a specific register, here it's for clearing the, the interrupts. Then we update the interrupt status to propagate the value. Okay, cool, that looks amazing. But uh, this is what people feel when they want to start building virtual prototypes. Why? First, models are hard to find. So if you want to start now, you will have some issue to find some models on GitHub, on GitLab, or, or any, any, anywhere else. You have to, you need hand request, develop, uh, development of models. Many models are missing for your rights level of abstractions, depending on the of the um, accuracy you need. You have, there is an insufficient <coughs> commonization of efforts <laughs> on models. There are too much components. You, you can't model all models, uh, all components, sorry. Uh, instead, we should commonalize the efforts and the industrial efforts are not shared. Virtual prototypes involve EV deployments. It's Today, it's hard to start from scratch. There is a model interoperability issue. 
which doesn't mean easy reuse. Some people are, are inventing their own standard, uh, decreasing the interoperability between models. And uh, of course, a non-promised framework deployment is currently missing. OK, so what's the most point of with virtual prototypes? So first, the key is the interoperability. An open standard API is a key. If you want to build models, it's OK. But if you want people to reuse your models, you need inter interoperability. You would like to interconnect all models you, you can find on GitHub or GitLab really easy using open standard. The reuse reusability, you don't, want, you don't want to reinvent the wheel. You would like to take advantage of the community. So you would like to improve and contribute to existing models instead of duplicating the code. You don't want to spend a month to, to start, for example, a Raspberry Pi. So uh, you need good documentation and, uh, and easy tutorials. And finally, you want something easy to build. You don't want to, to read a, a book with many with thousands of pages to, to know how to write a model. So that's why we are working on, uh, we are considering higher level language to describe um, IP models. And for us, the key is clearly the open source. The open source is the answer of, is the answer of all those issues. So here is just a, a demo. I've, as we have no time, so it just, it's not for, really for real. It's a boot of uh, Raspberry Pi, sorry for the quality. Um, so we have a Linux kernel booting on a, on a virtual prototype. So you can see it's, it's really fast. It's run on a, on a laptop. And you can uh, directly interact with a virtual prototype, as you can do on a real physical board. It's hello for them. And we are currently working on intuitive tools for design. So we would like to uh, provide a place to share what we call virtual components, models, a continuous integration so people can directly test their software on their hardware to decrease uh, regression, a graphical designer to assemble diff uh, different models, and uh, of course, community support. So. We believe we can make hardware and software development more agile. So with more intuitive virtual component editor, with open source virtual prototype builders, with clever simula system simulator, we would like to, uh, from uh, the description of the virtual prototype, we would like to be able to export initial build of materials and schematic. And uh, this, of course, enable a collab more collaborative development, open source hardware, community, and functional system integration test automation. So, sorry, time is over, but we are currently uh, opening a beta uh, next week with uh, including the virtual prototype of a Raspberry Pi. So, um, if you want to try, so just join the beta. We will, of course, then after the beta, open everything to the community on uh, our GitHub, on github.com slash inventive. So, uh, if you want to, to try or to give us feedback with the Raspberry Pi, we would be happy to, to hear uh, uh, you, your feedback. Thank you. Questions? I have a question. Uh, how do you plan to achieve interoperability? Because there is system C and PLN. These are established standards in the industry. OK, so the, the question is about interoperability with uh, system C -ATLM. OK, yes. So I didn't really talk about system C -ATLM. System C -ATLM are industrial standard, um, which, is, which is an, an open standard used for uh, interoperability between IPs, but also for models. Uh, OK, so currently we are directly supporting system C and TLM. Uh, system C, um, we, are mainly, we mainly focus our development on TLM because uh, TLM provides um, an, in, an interface with a higher level of abstraction for fast simulation. And we mainly focus our development for software. So we would like fast virtual prototype, so fast virtual platforms. So currently we mainly uh, support TLM interface. But of course, you can integrate existing system C uh, model, which may be with a lower abstraction level, like RTL. So you can mix all, uh, all of them in a, in a world uh, virtual prototype.
Yes? Sorry, no sure. I got your question. Is it is it about uh, how um, is it is it, sorry is, is it about uh, uh, the, the behavior of the register when you write on it? No, it's what it does when you write on those registers. So yes. For example, a radio chip will start emitting or transmitting something. Of course. Uh, how do you know it? You, you did the right thing. Oh, okay, okay. I see. It's about compliance of uh, your model. Uh, okay, I see. This is a, this is a good question. So uh, the question is about uh, how can we check. The model finally is right according to the hardware, according to the real hardware. Okay, this is a really good question. So we can say the model is totally right. Uh, we we are only following the data sheet, uh, but uh, we believe with open hardware, with uh, we can have accurate models because we have all the source code, and we be, we, we hope we will have more IP open. And so more accurate models, but uh, there is another answer. Um, people today, mo many people today, begin to develop the hardware with low level like RTL. But you can do the reverse. You can begin with your model, and your model will drive then your development. Your model can be used from the software, and then for the hardware to write low level part like the RTL with VHDL or Verilog. <laughs> yes. Um, how do you plan on getting manufacturer data for their custom IP of their, their chips? For instance, I had a USB hub for my previous board that I worked on. Um, how do you know for sure that you have the correct parameters? Okay, so the, the question is about uh, how can we get the data sheet from a private IP or yeah. private uh, peripherals? Okay, uh, this is a good question. So we can spend, we can spend our night to do reverse engineering. Uh, but we don't have time. We need to, to sleep. Uh, now, um, currently, we are trying to to discuss with the manufacturer and IP provider to see how industrial can share more, maybe more models with the community to avoid uh, wheel, to to avoid to reinvent the wheel. Maybe because um, IP provider already have models. They do models when they build their system on chip. So if we find, a, if we convince him, convince them, sorry, to to share models to the community, I hope it will be great. But currently, with private IP, we don't really have an answer. Okay, thank you, Jom again. Thanks. Hi.